Welcome to Retain, Revise, or Retire. But I was a little bit tempted to pull out my Welcome to Retain, you know, as it, be, it being October, but, you know, that uh, doesn't really fit thematically. I don't know. So let's, let's do take a look at well, what we should be thinking about thematically. Increase faith in and worship of Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. Teach the core doctrine of the gospel with power and clarity. Invite joyful singing at home and at church. Comfort the weary and inspire members to endure in faith and unify members throughout the church. All right, so the big cliffhanger was, do we still have more benedictions? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, just three more. So the, the first three are benedictions, and then we're actually all the way up to the sacrament hymns. Lots of good sacrament hymns. And uh, most of the sacred hymns are sung a lot. So uh, I think we'll be retaining quite a few of those. But we'll see. We're going to take a good, honest look at all of them. So our first benediction we have is abide with me. Without the eventide part. So just regular abide with me. 166, text by Henry F. Light. And music by William H. Monk. Uh, this one is probably familiar to a lot of people as well. It's definitely sung quite a bit. Abide with me, fast falls the eventide. The darkness deepens, Lord with me abide. Yeah, so it's... It, yeah. <laughs> It's funny, like it, I said, without the eventide, but there actually still is the word eventide in the first line. Um, but yeah, it, it, it is, you know, different enough that it differentiates itself from the other one. Just one hymn before. And then it goes on. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, O, oh, abide with me. Swift to its close ebbs out life's little day. Earth's joys grow dim, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O oh, thou who changest not, abide with me. I need thy presence every passing hour. What but thy grace can foil the tempter's power? Who like thyself my guide and stay can be? Through cloud and sunshine, Lord, abide with me. Hmm. Yeah, that's great. You know, even it even though it is talking about like even tide and night and darkness, like it's like the previous abide with me where it, it's more of a reflection on, you know, the darkness of the world and the need for the savior and oh, change and decay and all around I see, you know, and, and being able to hold on to the steadiness and steadfastness of the savior and our heavenly father. So yeah, this is a definite retain. It's a great hymn. Uh, it's been used a lot. I, I imagine it will continue to be used quite a bit. All right. Another benediction. Second to last. The penultimate benediction. Come, let us sing an evening hymn. Got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> we're, we're back into the evening hymns. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if it's a more metaphorical, like the abide with me's, or is it literal, like, bless me while I sleep? I don't know. I don't really know this one very well, so let's go ahead and ring up the accompaniment. Okay, here we go. Come, let us sing an evening hymn to calm our minds for rest, and each one try to sing a lie to praise the Savior best. All right, the text is by W.W. W. Phelps. Music by Tracy Y. Cannon, so who we've seen before. Hmm, but yeah, it's talking about to calmer minds for rest. 
I don't know. It, Melody doesn't really speak to me. It's kind of all over the place. Uh, but, you know, that's just my subjective opinion. Not my favorite. Anyway. Yea, let us sing a sacred song to close the passing day. With one accord, call on the Lord and ever watch and pray. Oh, thank the Lord for grace and gifts renewed in latter days, for truth and light to guide us right in wisdom's pleasant ways. No, yeah, not bad words at all. Uh, for every line we have received to turn our hearts above, for every word and every good that fills our souls with love. That's like not a complete sentence. Oh, it continues in the fifth verse, so you have to like sing the fifth verse. It's like, for every line we have received, to the death, for for da da da, that fills our soul with love. What? Uh, oh, let us raise a holier strain. So like it like continues in the fifth verse. For blessings great is ours, and be prepared while angels guard us through our slumbering hours. It's definitely an evening hymn. Oh, may we sleep and wake in joy while life with us remains and go and then go home beyond the tomb where peace forever reigns. So, you know, it's a good solid W.W. Phelps text. Uh, yeah, I just think we need some new benedictions that are not evening specific, like the meeting's over, the day's just starting, or, you know, the day's got a lot of hours yet in it, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say let's retire that one. Sorry, W. All right, next, our final benediction. As shadows fall. Text by Lowell M. Durham Jr. Music by Lowell M. Durham. Oh, was this a, like a father-son collaboration? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so like the... Okay, the music Lowell was born in 1917 and Junior was born in 1943. Oh, it's totally a father-son collaboration. That's cool. I never noticed that. Probably because I don't think this, uh, this song isn't sung very much. I wonder if there are any other like familial collaborations on hymns. Let me know if you know of any that are actually in the book. Okay, A Shadow's Fall, I don't know this one. Let's listen. Ooh, we've got a double flat. That's not very common to see in the hymn book. shadows fall, say no thoughts and minds to thee. Help us, Lord, that we may strive for peace and find our rest in thee. Guys, sorry, that rhythm at the beginning was throwing me off. Maybe it was the double flat. Saw that and like... Rose up. Okay, it's, there's only one more verse. Father, watch us. Father, please watch o'er our loved ones as the evening round them flows. Lord, accept our supplications. Be with us in our repose. Why are there so many hymns about going to sleep? I don't know. Did, did people back in the day like? Hey, it's time for bed. Let's uh, let's sing a hymn, and like go to these and like okay, today we're gonna do a shadows fall. And I don't know, like I'm just I'm really just curious. Like, <laughs> like we would why would we we would never sing these in a sacrament meeting or a Sunday school or priesthood or anything. I don't know. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Shed some light on this for all of us, because. I mean, the, the committee felt like these needed to be in there. So was that just a kind of a different tradition? Yeah, uh, I'd really like to know. So yeah, unfortunately, this is going to, I'm going to say retire on that one too. Sorry, both Lowell's. 
All right, so we're on to sacrament hymns now. And honestly, I all I <laughs> if I had to predict, I'd say we'll probably keep most of these and say we need some more. Uh, like, the, yeah, there's already in the, the new hymn batch, like the Bread of Life, Living Water. That's a beautiful new sacrament hymn, for example. So, yeah, I'd say let's let's do some more because we will always take the sacraments. There will always be a need for sacrament hymns. And, yeah, give us a few more to cycle through, right? You know, a little more variety. Uh, I think more variety helps us uh, maybe focus on the words a little more. We don't hear them as often. They... Uh, it's easier to pay attention to them, I think. Okay, Lee Tom Perry. Is that L. Tom Perry, like the Apostle? Cool. Maybe. Or, oh, I think I looked this up once. It's like maybe his, it's like his son. It's a relative. Anyway, and then music by Daniel Lyman Carter. Well, it's actually someone I know. All right, as now we take the sacrament. Yeah, this is definitely one I know. As now we take the sun. Oh, sorry, that's wrong. That's the wrong. I said I know it, and then I sing the wrong one. Okay. Now we take the sacrament. Oh, okay, that's okay. As now we take the sacrament. Our thoughts are turned to fear. The Son of God relieved for us, then died on Calvary. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, we contemplate thy lasting grace, thy boundless charity. To us the gift of life was given for all eternity. As now our minds review the past, we know we must repent. The way to thee is righteousness, the way thy life was spent. Forgiveness is a gift from thee we seek with pure intent. With hands now pledged to do thy work, we take the sacrament. Lovely. And now, uh, as now we praise thy name with song, the blessings of this day will linger in our thankful hearts, and silently we pray for courage to accept thy will, to listen and obey. We love thee, Lord. Our hearts are full. We'll walk thy chosen way. Yeah, that, that's a really nice sacrament song. It goes over like lots of different aspects of the sacrament. Um, and it has a lovely musical setting uh, that I think a lot of people already know. Like I said, sacrament songs are used over and over and over and over. So um, I'd like to retain that. Okay, God our Father, hear us pray is 170. Text by Annie Pinnock Mallon and music by Louis M. Gottschalk, adapted by Edwin P. Parker. I want to think that his middle name is Peter, but who knows? Edwin Peter Parker. Uh, okay, God our Father, hear us pray. God our Father, hear us pray. Send thy grace this holy day. Yeah, and as we take of emblems blessed, on our Savior's love we rest. Okay? Excuse me. Grant us, Father, grace divine, may thy smile upon us shine as we eat the broken bread. Thine approval on us shed. It's kind of like an old fashioned way of saying the you hymn. Know, Shed thine approval upon us. Okay, as we drink the water clear, let thy spirit linger near. Pardon faults, our Lord, we pray. Bless our efforts day by day. You know, this one is just kind of all right. I, I don't know that I love it. But is that, you know, it's a sacrament song. A lot of people know it already. I feel, like like I mentioned, I feel like we need to be additive to our sacrament songs rather than subtractive. I don't know. It's not it's not my favorite one, but it's not to the point where I think we should get rid of it. So I'm going to say let's go ahead and retain it as well. All right. So we will be delving into more sacrament songs next time. OK, so the time has come for, um, for me to make a recommendation. 
And do you, the question is, is do you like Sister Act? I do. It's a very fun, very fun show. Uh, one of the songs uh, featured in, oh, I think it's the first one. I don't know. It, one of the Sister Acts uh, is, uh, they sing, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. So it's set to Ludwig van Beethoven's um, Ninth Symphony, uh, typically, like we hear, Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love, hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to the sun above, melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. So I, it, you know, it's a, just a timeless tune. You know, everybody recognizes that, like, the Ode to Joy. But it has, you know, this specifically religious uh, text about praising God. I think it'd be really, really fun to have its beautiful words. Great music. Uh, yeah, I think that could be a really nice addition to our hymnal. So we'll see. We got any more Beethoven aficionados on the committee? Probably. I mean, who doesn't know who Beethoven is? <laughs> All right. That's it for today. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. We are approaching the halfway mark of the hymnal. So with uh, 341, we need to be about 170. So, yeah, actually, that's where we are right now, 170. So we're I'd say we're about the halfway mark here. Great. Thanks for hanging in with me. And uh, well, we'll just keep on doing this until we run out of hymns. All right. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep singing. Come thou fair.